So what what's the case? What's actually going on? What were you saying? What uh what got in the YSL? Yeah. They just they really from what I'm seeing so far, they just really they really trying to see they make it a gang because they don't know. Everything is speculation. Alright, so y'all saying y'all saying, Oh, these dudes that killed these people on the streets, they YSL. But I thought YSL was the rap group, dude. From people getting locked up or telling them like, nah, YSL is a gang and a rap group. They're the third one by Young Thugs, Big Gunna, and this, that, that, and the third. Now, when they come in, they still don't got no proof about it. This is why when you look it up and you see everybody copping out, the stipulations that they cop out is, uh, you got to say YSL is a gang in order to go home. And they letting them go home. Like, it's not like they sending these dudes to prison. Mm. So now you hold the Young Thug. I never really had no evidence against them. Y'all trying to use rap lyrics, which is freedom of speech, but we can't get it as black people. And you trying to use it against us. So now, in order to build up evidence, we're gonna hold you. Because in the law, you're innocent until proven guilty. They know that. They make us seem like we're guilty already. Yeah, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. Yeah, You're guilty and then prove it innocent. They make you feel like, I, I know I'm guilty already, so I might as well. Yeah, you know, why is that a gang? Because you want to go home. You want you just to live in this fabulous life. So you're going to say what, you, what they want you to say. Yeah, yeah and I think that's how they trap a lot of Yeah, even though it might not be a gang, it really just could be a nice... Wait, come on, it, it could be a movement. Mm -hmm. That's all it could be, a nice little movement, rap little movement, and, and there ain't no gang, like, but people don't understand it and don't see it from the aspect is they gonna railroad you any way they can to get you. When they come down to politicians wanting to say why the crime is up this, they need somebody to blame it. When you got a couple, it could be two or three bad, it could be two or three incidents that don't got nothing to do with young thugs, nothing to do with gunna, when motherfuckers got into an argument and somebody got shot. So, what, hold on. Let me ask you a question. So, you saying that they wasn't bringing gang violence to Newark, more of gang violence? Even if they was bringing gang violence, right? Yeah. Even if it's not directly, even if it's not directly connected to each other, they're gonna make it connected to each other. Because it could just be a bunch of dudes. Mm. Y'all all could be gangbanging, but it don't mean nobody called and told you to do anything. Mm -hmm. But no, you know in Jersey, you know in Jersey when they give you that label of gang is a rat. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, once you get gang criminality, that's how that's a that's a separate charge. Gang criminal, criminality. Yes. Be a bunch of guys sell drugs together. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's a whole nother separate charge. So that charge alone just alone to get you get you hemped up and had them uh, uh like investigating you so basically they don't really have evidence like they don't usually do like when we watch these uh cops and crime stories what you see that keep them in the integration room until somebody tell on themselves and that's basically what they're doing they're doing playing possum and now you got the streets these young boys calling each other calling who they call the snake? Um, they said that who who snitched on who from their testimony. Some they were trying to say, uh, Gunner told on Thug. Yes. So you see now it's like when people cop out, it looks like they're snitching, but they just trying to get this shit over with because they know uh, it's is a trap. Like, cause like, you know what's crazy like, is that. Even if, 
They don't want to agree to them terms. You not, you not pleading guilty. So they be, they be knowing how to leverage on you to make you say shit that you don't have to, that you don't have to say or don't want to say in order to go on. Yeah, so they can take that and use it against your co-defendant. So you talking about your case then, that's why at first your co-defendants thought that you snitched because you just told what you did. But I had a question. What about, you know, when, remember we talked about this, when you make these statements and you're under influence of drugs, do they still use these statements? Do they, Have you found that they still use these statements? They, 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 they try. They Well, listen, you got about two people minutes. People, you got two minutes because I want to. You got two minutes on this call. So I want you to wrap it up because I want you to, um, again, we're going to finish this next week because I want you to call next week so we can finish talking. But the next question, now that they're trying to say, now that they're trying to say that Gunner is a snitch, do the streets think Gunner is a snitch or is it just the social media that's trying to create? Another gang war. From, from what I'm hearing, they, like from, from how people do, how dudes feel in here, they feel like by him saying why he sell as a gang, he basically gave up the but other motherfuckers like yeah, I know how these court systems play, and that could have been the only way. Ain't you no know, telling. Thug could have been telling them, yo, just cop. You have thirty seconds remaining. They could have just been telling them, take what they gonna give you, it don't matter, I'm good. You mm, see what I'm saying? You never know. We don't know, you can't. another person can't never say. Speculations get people hurt. So at the end of the day, they just gotta wait for Doug to say something. Right, right. That's what's up. We're gonna continue this conversation next week so you could we could dig more into it. But I